Hi, my name's Dr. Rachel Corman. I'm one of the feline medicine specialists at Cat Specialist Services. And this video is to give you some information on a drug called Darvapoetin. This is a medication that we tend to use in cats with chronic kidney disease that have developed an anemia, so a low red cell count. This happens in cats with chronic kidney disease because you need to have effective kidney function to produce a hormone called erythropoietin or EPO and that then tells your cat's bone marrow that they need to produce new red blood cells. As their kidney function deteriorates, the kidney becomes less effective at producing this hormone. And so over time, the bone marrow is less effective at producing the new red blood cells. This can be a very gradual change in many cats with chronic kidney disease. The anemia that we see associated with chronic kidney disease tends to occur later in the stages of a cat's um, kidney deterioration. It can start as a very mild anemia and it gradually progresses over time, but it certainly can have an impact on your cat's quality of life as they may become more lethargic and reluctant to move around and do their normal social activities. This medication is essentially a recombinant version of the human erythropoietin medication. And so essentially what we're doing when we treat cats with this drug is we're trying to replace their own erythropoietin or EPO with this erythropoietin. So this medication then acts on the bone marrow to tell it to produce new red blood cells. Not all cats with anemia due to kidney disease will need to start on this medication. We tend to leave it in reserve for cats with a more progressive anemia, but it's certainly something that can make them feel a lot better um, if they are cats that respond to it. So essentially the way that the medication works is it tells the bone marrow to produce new red blood cells. And that doesn't happen automatically. We need that message to get to the bone marrow and for that increase in red blood cells to occur gradually. This injection is something that your vets would give to your cat once a week and we give it every week while we're monitoring signs for improvement of their anemia. And if the cats respond and their anemia resolves, then we can decrease the frequency of injection. So for example, we may start your cat on this injection and they come in once a week. When they come into the clinic, we perform a physical examination and that would also include measurement of their blood pressure. We do see elevations in blood pressure in cats with kidney disease, but it can also occur once cats start on this medication. So it's important that we monitor for that. We also do a blood test and what we call a PCV or packed cell volume. So we take a little sample of blood, we put it into this little tube and we spin it down in a centrifuge. And that's what helps to tell us if we're being successful with our treatment or not. We may also suggest that your cat receives an iron injection, often at the time of starting treatment too. So once we've done the physical exam on your cat and we've checked their blood pressure and we've checked their packed cell volume, we'll then give them an injection of this medication. And obviously this is the human formulation, so your cat needs only a fraction um, of this syringe. So we dilute the medication down and then we give your cat the injection under their skin. They then return the following week and the process happens again. And we continue that process until their packed cell volume returns to within normal range. And that can take anywhere from four to six weeks to occur. After that time, we can then increase the time between injections, say to every two to three weeks. But every patient is slightly individual in how they respond to the medication and what their final frequency of injections might be. We also see that there's some cats that just don't respond to the medication. And that may be because there's other causes for their anemia, not just the kidney disease. 
but also that just some cats are not responding to the EPO um, affecting their bone marrow appropriately. Other potential side effects associated with the injection are pretty uncommon but can occur. We can see some cats that react to the injection um, when it's given and we can also see a small number of cats that can develop seizure activity. Again, this is very uncommon and it's often a medication that really does significantly improve your cat's quality of life um, if we're seeing effective treatment of their anemia. For any further information, please don't hesitate to visit our website or contact us to organise a referral.